Hey everyone, in this video you will learn how you can dynamically insert images inside a template in Switchboard Canvas application using Pabli Connect. So guys, here you can see we have connected Google Sheets in the trigger application, trigger module and Switchboard Canvas as the action application inside the workflow of our automation. So guys, here you just have to add the data that you want to insert inside an image in Switchboard Canvas. And as you are done entering the data, a image will be created out of a template automatically in Switchboard Canvas application. Okay. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And you can set up this automation without any coding very easily. So let's start. So guys, this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account and you will get free automation tasks every month to set up and test your automations, okay? So you can just sign up right now and after that you have to sign in and reach this Pabli Connect product and you will see the dashboard of Pabli Connect, okay? And guys, here you have to click on this create workflow button to create the automation workflow. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So here I'm giving the name as uh, Google Sheets to Switchboard Canvas. So after giving the name, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these modules, we can set up any automation. Okay. So here guys, you can see trigger is saying when this happens, this means that when a trigger event occurs in a trigger application, the action will make public public connect perform any specific action. So it is saying do this here. Okay. So in this use case, the trigger application would be Google sheets and the trigger event would be uh, adding of the data in a, in a row inside the spreadsheet and the action towards that trigger would be to create a, would be to insert the data inside an image template and create an image. Okay. So guys for that we need to connect Google Sheets here in the in the action in the trigger step. So search for Google Sheets here it is selected. And the trigger event would be new or updated spreadsheet row select this. So it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this, we can make a connection with Google Sheets. And after that, we are going to, we are going to capture the response of that connection. So you need to follow these steps written here to make this connection. So uh, let me show you directly how you can do that. First of all, you need to open the spreadsheet that we have created in Incognito window. So guys, I have opened my spreadsheet here in Incognito window. This is because uh, you have to open it here only when you are using multiple Google accounts in the same browser. Okay. And guys, here you will find this extensions button over here. Click on it. And from here, from this add-ons option, click on get add-ons. And from this Google Workspace Marketplace window, you have to install an add-on which is called Pabli Connects connect web hooks. Okay. So search for Pavli connect web hooks and install this add on here. Okay. So as I have already installed it, I do not need to install it again. But once you install it, guys, you have to refresh the spreadsheet. This is an important step. Okay. After installing the Pavli connect web hooks add on refresh the spreadsheet. And after that, when you click on extensions, you will find this Pavli connect web hooks option available here in the drop down. From here, you have to click on this initial setup. And in the initial setup, you will find these two fields, the webhook URL field and the trigger column field. Okay. So in this webhook URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to enter the name of the final data entry column that you have in your spreadsheet. So you can see here in this sheet, I have all this data. This is the link of a blog that I have written in WordPress. This is the publishing date. This is the caption of the blog and this, this is a featured image. Okay. So this is the data I want to insert inside a template in switchboard canvas. Okay. So guys, you can see the column D is the final column here. This means whenever I'm going to enter the data in the D column that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay. 
So let me first copy the webhook URL that we got here. Click on copy. And here you can see as I have clicked on copy, it started showing waiting for the webhook response. Okay. Now go back to the spreadsheet. Click on extensions, public connect webhooks, initial setup. And here you have to paste the URL. A, one, a, a URL is already pasted here. Let me erase this. And let me paste a new one. Okay. And the trigger column is the D column only. And here you can see we have this send test button. So guys, you can see in the workflow, it started showing waiting for the response. This means now we can perform a test submission. Test submission means we are going to uh, fetch some test data out from your spreadsheet to here so that we can set up this automation further. And to bring the data here, you can see we have this send test button. So when you click on send test, the data of the first row that you have in your spreadsheet will be sent as the test data to your workflow. So I am clicking here <clears throat> and here you can see it is uh, written test data sent successfully. Let's check in our workflow if we got the data. And here you can see guys, we got the data captured like this. So this is the link of the WordPress, WordPress post. This is the publishing date. This is the post caption. These are the same things that I have here in my first row that got captured as the test data. Okay. That's how you can capture the test data. Now you can submit, click on submit in the initial setup. Okay. So the setup is configured here. Close this window and from this extensions option, you have to select this option also send on event. Okay, from public connect webhooks, select this send on event option also so that whenever you got a new data entered here, the workflow is going to trigger and start running. Okay, so we are done setting up the connection. And now with the help of this data that we have received, I want to create a image from the template in switchboard canvas. So here connect switchboard canvas. Here it is selected. And in the action event, select create image option. Then click on connect from here, select add new connection. And here it is asking for the API key of switchboard canvas. So you'll find the key here in your switchboard canvas application like this. You can see I'm under the template section and under template C we have this view your API key button, click on it. And this is the key that we want. So you can just copy it, paste it here. Okay. Then click on save and you'll be connected with switchboard canvas. Okay. Right. <clears throat> and here you can see we have this template field and here it is asking for the name of the template that you want to use in switchboard canvas. So I have created various templates here to create images. So right now I'm using this one. The name of template is tweet dash two. Okay. <clears throat> and here you can see in this template, I have these four things variable, like we can insert our image here inside this image image section. We can enter the name here, the text here and the date here. Okay. So I got the data here like this in from my spreadsheet and here we have the link of the post. Okay. We have the publishing date and we have this caption and we have an image also. So we are going to use this test data only to set up this automation or to create an image automatically inside canvas. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, select the templates name and here it is asking for the width and the height of the image. So I'm going to put standard height and width. Okay. You can uh, change these things if you want. And here it is asking for the date, the tweet, the handle and the picture. So let me map the data from the previous step. So you just have to click here and it will show you the trigger step here in the drop down. So just click on it and it will show you all the data here only. So from here, just map the date in the date field. And if in the tweet field, map the caption for in the handle field, you can enter any name like this. Okay. So these are the details that it is asking here inside the template. Okay. So this is the template which we can use for Twitter post. So that's why it is asking for this handle name and this profile pic and all thing. Okay. So I'm showing you this example and here in the profile picture, you just can map the image link that you'll find here. So that's how you can enter things dynamically inside any, uh, 
template okay so when you map the data like this guys what will happen after setting up this automation whenever you are going to enter the details here the date the mapped data are going to be updated automatically and new things will be entered here inside your templates automatically okay <clears throat> so you can check your connection as well by clicking on save, save and send test request and a new image will be created out of this template automatically let me show you I am clicking here on save and send test request guys so this is the response we have received and here you can see a new image is created and we got the URL also okay from switchboard canvas let me show you the created image so you can see we got this image created like this previously in template we have the data like this now you can see the data got changed here and it is looking like this the profile picture is changed the name is changed the text is changed and these are all the things that I have mapped here inside these fields you can see some people never go crazy what truly horrible lives they must lead this is the same text here and uh, the name is also changed like this and the image is also changed and the date as well you can see date was this and it got placed here so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and if you want to use this workflow you can use it because i am going to paste the link in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel